Cleveland, after he was challenged by his coach and accidentally headbutted by an opponent, LeBron James responded with one of the most dominating fourth-quarter performances of his 15-year career in the Cleveland Cavaliers' 119-109 win over the Brooklyn Nets on Wednesday. James scored 23 of his 33 points in the fourth, helping the Cavs overcome a seven-point deficit in the second half and extend their winning streak to six games. James' 23 points were one off his regular season high for a fourth quarter, January 6, 2008, against the Toronto Raptors, according to ESPN Stats and Information. James did his most damage from 425 in the fourth to the 55-6 second mark, scoring 18 consecutive points, tying the most points he ever has scored in the final five minutes of a game. During the span he went 6-4-6 six from the floor, including 2-4-2 two, two from three-point range, while the Nets went 5-4-11-0-4-4 from three. According to Elias Sports Bureau, it was the most consecutive points James has scored in a fourth quarter in the regular season. But the dominant quarter was preceded by a bit of adversity. In the first quarter, James missed a wide-open dunk that could have pushed Cleveland's lead to 10, and he then attempted an ill-advised three-pointer that gave Brooklyn an open window to get back in the game. That sequence cost Cavs coach Tyron Lue to get on his star at halftime. Then, in the third quarter, James collided with Nets center Tyler Zeller and had to go to the locker room to receive stitches to close a gash above his lip. Good. Lou said when a reporter suggested that the hit from Zeller woke up James. He was messing around. I told him at halftime, you messing around. He got a little upset, and that's good. Get hit again. Lou played it coy when asked what specifically James did in the first half to disappoint him, saying, I forgot. James, for his part, downplayed his performance and accepted his coach's criticism. After receiving enough stitches to close the wound, James checked back in the game and sparked the Cavs run by, he said, just trying to make plays, be assertive, help my team win. Blessed to be able to make a couple down the stretch. And as for Louis' critique? Whatever T. Lou say goes, so, you know, he knows how to challenge me sometimes, James said. After the missed dunk, I came and pulled up for a three, that was a bad shot. But they felt like the other one in the corner was a bad shot, against their big, and called a timeout after that point and kind of took the life out of the team. So, I know it starts and ends with me, so I got to be better, which I was in the second half. James has been at his best in the fourth quarter this season, averaging 10 points, easily the best in the NBA. New York's Chris Tapps Portendies is second at 7.7, .7, and New Orleans' Demarcus Cousins is third at 7.4. Former Cavs guard Kyrie Irving is fourth at 7.3. By comparison, James averages 8.3 points in the first, 5.7 in the second, and 5.5 in the third. My team looks at me to be that scorer now, James said. The last couple years, Kyrie obviously being as great as he was in the fourth quarter, we kind of picked our games. There was games half the time that he had it going, and, hey, go get it. There was games half the time where I had it going and I'd go get it.